Let's take a look at my adaptation of Jean Patrul Rinpoche's uh, Heart Treasure of the Enlightened Ones, specifically the 21st Quatrain. Even if you die today, why be sad? It is the way of samsara, to which I responded. Although our dopamine-oriented reward system will fight for our last breath, no one who is boring can sidestep the stresses of illness, old age, or death. The text continues, Even if you live to be a hundred, why be glad? Youth will have long since gone. Whether you live or die right now, what does this life matter? To which I commented. In the shadow of death, hating, craving, and clinging could seem futile. Perhaps that is why the Buddha taught that no animal leaves a footprint as large as an elephant's, and no contemplation leaves an impression as great as impermanence. The quatrain concludes, just, as, just practice dharma for the next life. That is the point of letting go of the tyranny of hating and craving, to which I commented. Even spiritual-sounding goals could fuel our experience of hating, craving, and clinging. Better it is to content ourselves with a humble yet effective practice followed by an auspicious rebirth that we might continue to benefit others even indirectly with our practice of the Buddha's teaching.